Wastewater Dan presents wastewater math calculated with Excel spreadsheets. As a new service of ESDLT's Environmental Academy, environmentalacademy.com, today's example, convert flow from gallons per minute GPM to gallons per hour GPH. Today's problem reads, a chemical feed pump is always used at maximum capacity of 0 0.009028 GPM. Monday, the pump operated one hour. Calculate slash convert gallons pumped Monday. Well, we know we pumped one hour, so we can express that as gallons per hour or GPH. So we're going to solve for GPH. And the data we have is GPM. So we know that the number of minutes in an hour is 60. So to convert from GPM to GPH, we're going to use the conversion factor of 60. And we will use the math operator uh, to multiply, multiplication key. So the formula will be GPH equals GPM times 60. So let's look and see how we put this in an Excel spreadsheet. And you can go uh, open up a blank worksheet. In cell C1, you can type your description, convert from GPM to GPH. In cell A1, you can format it as numbers with six decimals. And you can set it as bold and centered. And you can type this formula in the, in the formula bar, which is equals open parenthesis 0 0.009028, close parenthesis, multiplication key, open parenthesis, 60, close parenthesis. Then press enter or the return key. And this is your answer in A1, 0 0.541680 gallons per hour or GPH based on this information. So I hope you found this video to be useful. This is a, the answer to this um, problem. This is your math solution for this. However, I have three additional bonuses. Um, if you would like to listen for another couple minutes, uh, I'll direct you to them. And we're going to start out by taking this same problem and simply expressing it in a different manner. So you can see that we can use the same formula and just express this uh, for us to convert to gallons per hour from gallons per minute. So either one of those uh, problems, pre problem presentations, will utilize the same formula. And if you want to see the URL on this one, the URL is right here. You go to that URL to see that. Now I have two additional bonuses. I'll slide down here to this other page. And we're actually, on this second bonus, we're actually going the opposite direction. We're actually going to be taking um, information in hours, or from hours, and we're going to convert two minutes. And we're going to use the same information. So we're actually going to be converting from GPH to GPM. And you can see we're using the uh, information, uh, the same, same numbers, uh, but uh, we're using the same conversion factor. We're just simply using a different math operator. And then this fourth. Um, bonus is also moving between hours and minutes, but it's being expressed as convert from GPH to GPM. And we're going to be using the same um, conversion factor. Uh, we'll be using the division key, which is the math operator we used on the other bonus. Uh, and this is the URL on that one. So I think it's important 
um, message in this video to recognize that you can have conversions between GPM gallons per minute and GPH that can be presented to you in different ways and we can have as many as four different uh, presentations uh, and two different sets of formulas. So I hope you found this five and a half minute video to be useful and helpful. If so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, I encourage you to participate and interact by commenting or submitting questions, which you can do to my uh, through my Environmental Academy website by filling out the email form or submitting an, an email to the address on that web page. Um, please um, come back often because I will be submitting videos at least once weekly. And thanks for watching.